Today I would like to tell you the greatest wife joke ever. But before we crack the code on that math equation, let me tell you a little history behind the joke. Dirty work? The real head scratcher is sexual services for financial or other reward between consenting adults has existed from pre-colonial to modern times. Dirty work during colonialism was often linked to migration as the colonial economy grew, and as 20th century war efforts developed, male migrants were drawn to urban towns, military settlements, and mining camps, which increased opportunities for women to engage in dirty work as a form of opportunity to support their families. In response of these activities, a dirty worker rights movement emerged in the 1990s and has spread throughout the world. Now that we have the story behind the joke, buckle up, things are about to get spicy. So, this guy went to the doctor to ask the doctor for some advice. Doctor, he said, I have a problem with my wife. For the past six months, she did not want to make love to me. And as we are not that old yet, I must assume something is wrong. And I would want to know from you what we can do about it. The doctor asked the husband if he can send the wife to visit him to see what the prognosis is. So, after the doctor did a full examination on the wife and established that there is no physical problem with her, he asked bluntly why the wife don't want to make love with her husband anymore. The wife started by saying, that money is a big problem within their household and that they battle to pay their bills. Because of this, both are forced to work every day. Now, doctor, she said, I take the taxi to work, and normally when the taxi driver is some distance from the house, he asks me, with his beard practically twitching with anticipation, if I am going to pay up, or what? Me? Empty pockets, flatter than a mime pretending to walk a tightrope. I am forced to choose the, or what? Now this taxi trip normally led me to be late for work, looking like a raccoon that have escaped a mascara factory. There's my boss, face like a thundercloud. You are late for work again, must I fire you? Or what? Easy choice, right? Can't risk the pink slip. And as I have explained to you before, that money is tight and that I cannot afford to lose my job. I am obviously forced then to choose the or what? Now, doctor, obviously my energy levels are very low at lunchtime, so I need some food to get me through the day. I will then go to the cafeteria at work, and the chef, knowing me very well by now, then normally approach me to say, anything on the menu is yours, but I first need to know whether you are going to pay, or what? So, I have no alternative then to choose the or what? Then after work I take the taxi home and as you know by now, the taxi driver know that I cannot afford the trip. So I am forced to again choose the or what? So doctor, when I get home after a long day at work, I am too drained to even pet the goldfish without needing a nap. My loving husband would obviously like to make love to me, but I cannot explain to him my situation and always just respond that I am just too tired for this. The doctor said, ma'am, I know exactly how you must feel and understand your situation clearly now. So my question to you is this, are we going to tell your husband about all of this or what? <laughs> so the moral of the story is this, if you are a financial stud, you will never have to worry about, or what. <laughs> if you like our jokes, please watch our next joke by clicking here. <laughs>